Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hot Wheels Garage. Today we're opening up two Mercedes AMG GTs and one of them is the GT3. So let's get straight into it. First up, we've got the 2015 Mercedes AMG GT. It's here in this metal flake black. It was released in the Nightburner series for 2018 and it's just a brand new casting for 2017 because it's a relatively new production car. So let's get it straight off the card. I really like this one in black. Not sure about, about the blue tinted window, but um, it would have been nice if it was maybe a, a normal tint, I think, a grey tint. But I actually like the wheels on this one. It's got those grey 10 spokes. They're pretty cool. Nice details there with the Mercedes symbol on the front. You've got the headlight tampos. We've got it on the rear as well, the tail lights. We can even see the GT on the back as well as the Mercedes symbol. So it's pretty cool. They've got a lot of detail on this one and I really like the white interior. It makes it look nice and clean. It's a really cool car. They've released it a second time this year in metallic lime green. So I'll be looking out for that one as well. Let me know which one you've got. <laughs> Right, brand new for 2018. This is the 2016 Mercedes AMG GT3. Now this is sort of in a collaboration with Project Cars 2, the race car game. Um, that game is developed by Slightly Mad Studios, but this car is, uh, you'll see this featured. I think you'll maybe see it in gray more so than the blue, but I actually like this blue version, this metallic blue. It's pretty cool. It's got that nice gray interior, and these are the sort of tinted windows I would have liked to see on the standard stock AMG. But uh, this one still is pretty cool. The spoiler is a little bit too big for me, and that bit at the front there, that scoop at the front, really, mm, that's not going to be really good for the track at all. But I like these yellow rimmed wheels, these J5 wheels, they're pretty cool on this one. Does make it look like a fast car. So I reckon on the downhill track, this one is going to be pretty cool. It's got the racing numbers on the side too, so I really like that as a race car. <laughs> Alright, let's get them on the track, see how they go. First up, we'll try the AMG GT3. Yet, yeah, like I said, not got big hopes for this one because of that scoop at the front, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, see, it falls straight out of the loop. It just, the wheels don't make contact with the track in a loop when it's got such a big scoop at the front, so that's a disappointment. But now we've got that 2015 Mercedes AMG GT. Nice production car, through the loop, works quite well. It does spin out there, but still it went around a few times, so it's pretty cool to see production cars on these tracks. See, another couple of times. If it had a couple of boosters on that track, it'd be perfect. All right, I wanna know which one is your favorite, a race version, the GT3, or a stock version, the GT? Let me know in the comments down below. Big thumbs up, but most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what's up next in the Hot Wheels Garage. Thanks, everyone.